Okay, here we are, step one with Kent at the beach making jewelry. Okay, show, show what we're making. Oh, hey, Christy. Wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a piece of beach glass, and we've been wrapping it with sterling silver. So, is it, can you see it, Mercedes? Yeah. Does that look good? Okay, make sure it's looking good. Look, there's a hair. What? Need to go down a little bit more? Just a hair. Okay. Whoops, wait a minute. Here, how about that? No, no I guess I'm sorry, I guess it was to it up. Should, been up Should we wrap a piece of beach glass? You want to pick a piece of beach yeah. glass out, or you want to do this pebble? Let's do that pebble. Maybe we should ask Christy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? good. Christy, sh well, hell, Schiffer has pulled it. this. There. Has pulled this pebble out of the ocean. I think it was actually Mallory's, but yeah. or Super Days, but. This is the one that's we, the pebble. That's the pebble we're gonna do. That's it. Isn't that cool? First okay, one. and then, and we're gonna make it look like. Show them what we're gonna make it look like. Oh, this no. one here. Probably make it look something like this. But yeah. And the cool thing about this is look at look at the look at the detail and how perfect everything is. Just perfect. And it's got the, on the back side. It's got these little clips. On the front, it's got this little cross. It's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. So first, first thing, thing we're gonna do is. Get a piece of tape and tape around it so we can measure a distance so we can know where to cut our silver. So we got that distance there. Okay. We'll snip that off. The next thing we're going to do is design, come up with a design of how we're going to, how, what the cage is going to look like so we can put it. Did you make up this process yourself? I took one lesson. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Can you hold on one second? Let me pause because what's going on? Okay, next. I Garbage want mint. To, yeah. Actually, go ahead and finish that area up, okay? So just color over? Yeah. yeah. Just both color over both of them, yes. Okay. And then when we're done, I'm going to have you do a, another one. Okay. No, Why well, don't we. Who wants to help design it? Okay, so we basically want to know where to bind. bind this, these are called bindings. Right. And that holds the three or four wires together. Uh huh. And then, then that gives us a something to to pull to, to make a cage that it can fit in. So I'll put a binder here and a binder there. So here we're gonna have a binder, one big binder on the bottom, somewhere around here. Let's so you're there. drawing it, is that what you're doing? Yeah, just kind of, so when I lay it out, I'll, and then we'll have maybe a long binder there. So that's gonna have something come up on the side there, and the side there. Okay. And a side here and a side here. So we'll put some more up here. Yeah, let's do this. Good job. Put that down for just, let me finish this and then I'll finish that with you. Okay, sweetie? Good. Okay, so now he's marking off on the stone where to put the bindings. And again, the wrappings. Or the wrappings. Yeah, whatever. So how do you pick typically how to where to put the wrappings? What is your, what's the, the, it all the goal? depends on how you. Let's see. On this one, so you can see this, this is kind of like a similar there. size. It's just gonna have a. Uh -huh. This one kind of broke. That's a real long binding. I experimented on that. Experimented on that one. Is that? Did you wrap all that? That's a, a, yeah, a mistake actually. Look at the wrapping on that. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous? That's all hand wrapped. And then, oh man, it's similar. Incredible. But it's got a cage, got a bind on the bottom, and then. As I came off the binding, oh, I spun it up on the, each side. Look at this. Look at this one. Can, look at this. Another. Again, it's just perfect wrapping. I mean, every little turn is perfect on that. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Boy, that's great. One of the very first ones I did, a piece mm -hmm. of beach glass. What kind of what kind of metal are you using? What kind of sterling silver? And what, and what do, diameter do you typically uh, like? 22, 20 gauge and 20, 20, 20 gauge square. It, which is a, a square. Uh, it actually is square. So it's a square so, cross section. So they, so they come, they actually bind together. You, you square pieces go together, and then you. Ah. All the wrappings are half rounds. It's flat on one side and half round on the other. Oh, really? Yeah, and that way you can go around and it looks, appears to look like it's, a rope bed. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Flat on. So you go flat on the flat other side oh, yeah. because I got you. Okay. So. And so this is. Let me take a look at this again. This is. This is 20 gauge. Yeah, 20 gauge, 21 square. I've got a, they're on, probably yeah. not in the same boxes anymore. Okay, but we got some chunky stuff over here. Mm -hmm. We've got some half round. We got some square here. So there's no real secret to. You gold. just get some stuff. It's like five dollars a 
foot, you know, really? six dollars a foot. Really? Gold, wow. Yeah. That's, that's gold. Ten carat. Oh, that's cool. That stuff runs about a dollar a foot, something like that. What does? This stuff here. But oh, you, really? But you can end up when, like, like this piece here. Yeah. Probably has six feet of silver. That has six feet yeah. of silver. Wow. It, maybe even more. Six mm -hmm. feet of silver. Yeah, that's why. Oh, you just keep stuff, wrapping it. That's why I, I oh. wish I had. I didn't. I thought I had more. Look so. at that! Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm thinking. Okay, so go back to back to the basics here. So now you take it. We know this is the top. I pull it back down. You pulled the tape off. Yep. Put it on the table. Put it on the table. He's got his little. Typically, we have a. I have a ruler in my box. Probably still do. I'm gonna take a quick look, but that way I'll. Uh, okay. We're gonna pause here. Zero to nine years old.